Hi, welcome to another EBNR episode. Uh, today I'm not going to be doing a review on a product. I'm actually going to be doing an unboxing or a box opening, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, and it's going to be on a ATI Sapphire 5770. Um, new release on the market. I believe it's about a month old. But uh, I'm going to be doing a I'm going to be doing a full review on it. But I'm just going to do an opening uh, on it just so you uh, see what you get with the packaging. We'll start opening it. Okay, so there's your box. Open up the box. I did open it before, but not the inside. So. Of course, typical brown box, and it's recyclable for you eco friendly nuts. I meant that in a good way. Okay. That's what you get. Molex, a six pin connector. Handy if you don't have a six pin power uh, connector on your power supply. If you're running an older uh, power supply. Uh, driver disc. You can obviously ignore these because um, ATI on their website just released new drivers with a video card. So ignore the disc if you bought if you purchase this car. Card. Oof. Excuse me. Um, go online and get the drivers. It's always best. Comes with a case badge. Which is cool. Uh, then your DBI to VGA dongle. And then you have Crossfire Bridge. And we get to the meat and potatoes of this. Surprising that wasn't taped. There you go, HD 5770. I believe this is a non-reference cooler. This is like Sapphire's edition cooler, other than having the full casing. Um, I did order the card with the full casing, but either way, they're both good coolers. It's actually well made, it's got copper, copper base, and two copper pipes going up to aluminum fins. Of course, your nice little plastic piece of graphic and uh, fan. It is dual slot though. Um, comes with two DVIs, HDMI and DisplayPort, crossfire ready. Um, takes one six pin power. It's PCI Express 2.0. Uh, the box says about uh, takes a 450 watt power supply. You can probably easily run it on a uh, 450 watt power supply. Uh, 500 watt power supply is probably recommended. Uh, 650 is recommended for two. Um, other than that, it seems to be a pretty well built card. Impressive. Um, RAM chips on the back, no plate to cover them or for uh, heat, ex heat exhaustion, but uh, has a nice little backing plate. Everything's nice and visible on it, which is good. Nice, it's well made. So that's what you get, and uh, thanks for watching.